what if by some macabre miracle Alexis is Angelique? Think. Think of going to a seance at which you've died. Oh. oh, not even the Angelique I loved could carry that off. Not without giving herself away. We are doing this for Sabrina's sake. And not for your curiosity! My curiosity is never satisfied. Even about you, about this, about Sabrina. Now you're doing this to cover up and hide your own guilt. Why, why should I be feeling guilty about Sabrina? I don't know. But you do. I know you well enough for that. <laughs> oh, no. If I do go through with that seance, it's for my own reason. <laughs> No one will let us forget that night, will they? You want us to remember it? Is that the reason for this monstrous joke? It's the kind of situation that could delight you, if you were alive. If you were alive. I can't go through that again. Hearing those words, treating the spirits to appear. Waiting, waiting, and then at the final moment, I know it will haunt me always, I know that. Angelique. Wait, wait. You've come back. I'm not who you think I am. Who else could you be? Listen to me, please. I don't know who you are, but please, you must listen. No, absolutely not. I won't permit it. Quentin, you must. The doctor gave her a sedative to calm her, but she'll be awake soon. And we must make a decision by then. The decision, my sister, has been made. Quentin, if you talked to her, you'd understand. I know how difficult it is for you. Then drop the subject. I only wish I could. This is your house, and I try not to intrude any more than I can. But this time, I feel I must. If you're worried about Maggie's reaction, she need know, know nothing about it. We'll have to have a talk about Maggie. Why? What happened when we were gone? What, Quentin? Her twin. Are you her twin? Surely she mentioned me. Yes. Is it so surprising that I'd want to come and visit my nephew? You move as she did. You, you speak as she did. You're the same. Your, your hands, your smile, your eyes. I can't believe it. Well, you must. Because you'll find out soon enough that we're quite different. Touch me. Then you say that I'm not a ghost if you touch me. Yes. I am quite real, Roger Collins. I cannot believe that Maggie simply left. Now what? Quentin. Miss Stokes told me about Maggie. It's very distressing. I would like you to meet my sister. This is Alexa Stokes, Elizabeth. My sister Elizabeth Stoddard. But it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Stoddard. Ah, but I, I seem to be interrupting. If you'll excuse us. It's midnight. Isn't that the time you set for the seance, Angelique? Are we all ready? Mr. Collins, you may sit there. The others will come. Mrs. Stoddard, aren't you going to sit down? Why am I the only one who knows we must do this? Why am I the only one? I feel we must do it too, Roger. Please. I do. Not just for her. I don't know why, but I do. 
Well, I refuse. Are you that frightened? told me that my sister died of a stroke. She did. There's never been any doubt of that. But she died at this seance. Afraid? Aren't you willing to go through with it? No, she's not. Quentin, please, let me answer for myself. It, it, it isn't necessary for the Stokes. It uh, might be fascinating for you. But Quentin, wait. Alexis. Of course, I'm willing. Do, you, for, do you forbid it? No, I don't forbid it. But I won't have anything to do with this. And after you finish, Bruno, you get out of this house, will you? Yes. This should be interesting. Very interesting. Will he allow it? Yes. That's right, Alexis. That's where Angelique sat, right next to Roger. I never thought we'd all be in this room, sitting at this table again. Cyrus will start now. Yes, let's get this over with. A chair for Quentin. It's almost exactly as it was before. It was a storm that night, too. Are you sure you want to go through with this, my dear? Yes. How are you? Yes. Yes. And let's begin. Our hands must touch. of the dead. We humbly entreat any of you who wish to speak to us to hear our voices. Spirits of the dead, we want to know what lies beyond this life we live. Spirits of the dead, hear me. Hear me. If one of you can speak to us, let him use one of us as his voice. Spirits around us, give us the knowledge which we seek. The spirit who appeared to us before, in this room, the spirit who appeared when I said these words before, will he come now? Do not be afraid. We need your help. Spirit, help us save one of us. Show us that you watch us and that you know. Spirit, come to us. Come to us. Now! Who are you? The spirit who came to us six months ago. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, you must help uh, us. Uh, she's dying. She's dying. Can't you see? She's dying. Murder. Murder. Sabrina. No. No. Yes, you are. What did I say? You are. What did I say? Don't you remember? No. Tell me. You had to go through with it, didn't you? Quit. Angelique was not murdered. Is that what I said? She died of a stroke. What did I mean? Look, isn't it possible, Quint, that whoever spoke to us through Sabrina could know more about this than we do? No, it is not. It's true. 
I remember. It's true. The voices told me. Angelique was murdered. Murdered. You say she was murdered. Based on what evidence? Uh, Sabrina. Sabrina, the voice that you heard. Was this the same voice from the first sale? You believe her? What have I done? I am sorry, Mr. Collins. And I'm sorry for you. The voice you heard was imagined. You were in shock. No, I heard it. I repeated what I heard. Sabrina, I don't believe in spirits or seances. But others do. Exactly. Now, do you think I want or need the torment you've brought to this house? We're very sorry. Alexis is upset. Elizabeth is crying and all for no reason. Why are you so sure? I won't let this talk start. It's too late, Gretchen. It's already started. Now, Sabrina. Sabrina, you have to tell me everything you know. I don't remember anything more. You can hold nothing back. Why should I hold anything back? I don't know, but you have not told me everything. There's something you haven't told me. You were always so fascinated with Angelique. You were. It was she who taught you about seances, about other things. I was jealous of her at first. She was so beautiful, so alive. You were attracted to her curiosity about everything. But you also knew that she was cruel and demanding. Cyrus, just how close were you to Angelique? You see, you don't want to answer that, do you? Did you? Kill her, Cyrus. No! I was afraid. How could you think such a thing? I was suddenly afraid. Sabrina. Sabrina, I... You said yesterday, you said yesterday that you... That you loved me because I was a gentleman. Now, if you said that yesterday, you can't believe what you're saying now. I do. But sometimes you're so fascinated with evil. I loathe evil! You know that. I'd do anything in the world to get rid of it. You are attracted to it. You're fascinated with it. That's why you loathe it so much. It's nonsense, Sabrina. It's nonsense. And I did not kill Angelique. I believe you. But someone did. Someone who was in that room. All oh, right, they're gone now. Now don't be upset. Have a brandy, it'll help you. And look, I'm very sorry about all this. You don't know how sorry. I should have never let that seance take place. Angelique was murdered. Now, you don't believe that. Now, the girl was in shock. She had an attack of hysteria. How can you explain it away so easily? Now, Alexis, you, you can't take it seriously. Alexis. Can't I, Quentin? Because I don't believe that voices from the dead know more than we do. Was there an autopsy after my sister's death? Yes. Very simple. There's a ruptured blood vessel in her brain. She died of a stroke. Of a stroke? But she was too young for that, didn't you think so? Yes, of course. Everyone did. Everyone except? Yes. Even our father? He had no choice. Our father always makes choices, even if there isn't one. He's a very suspicious man. Didn't he come running right away as soon as he heard Yes, he loved your sister very much. That's something you don't have to tell me. I was the one he didn't love. Who could have killed her, Quentin? No one! Everyone at that table loved her? Is that what you're telling I me? I told you that Angelique was not murdered. Yes, she was. No! Yes, Quentin, she was. She was murdered. You know, 
where you were. You remind me very much of her just now, the way you said that. The way you moved her head. Exactly the way you she used to when she got angry. She was angry a lot with, with you. But I won't discuss Angelique and me. Why not? You know, I can't make up my mind anymore whether you still love her. It concerns no one but me. Who could have killed her, Quentin? I just told you that no one killed her. Who was it? Now stop asking that, will you? No, I won't stop. And I'm not going to leave Collinsport until I find out. All right, try and find out. But now I'm telling you there's no truth in it. Daniel. Why was Cousin Elizabeth crying? Did Maggie do something to her? No, Maggie had nothing to do with it. She's... Well, she's not here. Has she gone away? Yes, for a while. But she's coming back? Yes, of course. When? Well, I don't know. Now, it's time for your bed. Now, why don't you run upstairs? We'll talk well, about it tomorrow. You haven't told me what's happened to me. Well, now, there's no need for you to know it. Come on, I'll walk you upstairs. Daniel! Daniel! Now, this is your Aunt Alexis. Your mother's sister. Now, you heard your mother talk about her a great deal. She's been in Europe. She just arrived while you've been out of town. Can't you see? Now, we know that she all resembles your mother a great deal. After all, she is her twin. You're her twin? It's not true. I don't believe it. You're lying. Why? No, I'm not. Daniel! You're both lying. Why? You'll never tell me. You don't want to admit it. I don't understand. You'll never tell me. Daniel, now come back here. Wait, wait, let me talk. No, I'm... Please, let me. Trust me with him. Are you all right now, Sabrina? I think it's time to go. No, 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 not until you feel it. But you've been so patient with me. How worrisome I've been to you. What's wrong? Well, I, I... I understood. How can you when I don't even understand myself? I remember seeing that figure in my room. Before I came here. That's the last thing that I remember. Do you remember anything more about it? No. And then, I can see the woods around this house. It was as if I were in some other kind of life. Why did I come here, Cyrus? If you understand, please tell me. Sabrina, how, how did you feel? When that figure broke into your room? I was terrified. I, there was such a, a feeling of evil about him. It was as if I were paralyzed. Why did he come to my room? Just don't. Don't think about it. But you asked me, Cyrus. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I just... I just hate talking about it. See, the, the, the police followed him, and you're going to hear about this, Sabrina. They followed him and they saw him enter my house. Oh, then it is someone that has a grudge against us. No. It must be. Did he take anything? No. And we will never hear of him or see him again. <laughs> 